Okay, so the Jewel Rush event just made its way into public servers. All right, and what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna go here and just... And yeah, I'm just gonna buy the skin. All right, pause. You may be wondering why we just bought the skin instead of doing the update and playing the game like we usually do. But there's a reason for that. And, um, it's... It, it, it breaks us. This update broke up. Our story starts at 4 a.m. this morning when we both got up to watch the RB Battle Season Finale. And watch Creep Crap lose. But that didn't matter because we both voted for different people um, as the winner. So Creep ended up getting the crystal ball. Which is cool because we just wanted one of us to get it. Then we went to bed and woke up around 4 hours later. Pretty tired after getting up at, you know, 4am. We saw the testing servers were live and set up our PC. Because right now we're on holidays and um, we haven't set any of our recording gear up. So we set up our recording gear, logged onto Sonic Speed Simulator and started recording. No biggie. We still when we started recording the update, we were very excited that Prime Rouge was the new skin in the game and that the map had been updated to have these crystals we had to protect from bad nicks. We had to destroy the bad nicks in order to get these moon crystals in order to complete the update, just like in standard Sonic Speed Simulator fashion. But as we started to do the event, we soon came to realize that this was taking forever. After 10 minutes of playing the update, we're only 5% through the update and haven't even unlocked the first item yet. And according to our calculations, it would take over three hours to complete this event. This was definitely one of the longest events in Sonic Speed Simulator. We kept grinding for around 30 minutes and while we were mindlessly grinding the event, we had Sonic Hub's stream open up on our phone so you know, we weren't as bored. Then as we were watching his stream, a developer actually joined in and announced in the chat that they updated the service to buff the Bagnix drops by double. So instead of giving us 62 Bagnix per Bagnik, I know that doesn't really make sense. It would give us like 104. When we heard about this, we rejoined the server and what do you know, the Bagnik's dropped two times more. Well, kinda. For some reason, only some Bagnik's were giving us the two times drop, which was super weird. Even though this sucked, it still helped us a bunch with completing the event a bit faster. Every one of these crystal locations we destroyed gave us around 1k moon crystals, which was a huge buff from last time. Not long after this two times buff was added, we got our very first reward item, which... It, it, it's definitely a trail. And then around 20 minutes later, we got the second prize, some Minor Chow. Now, a pretty cool thing about these Minor Chow is that they actually had the luck enchantment inbuilt into the Chow, which is pretty cool. But we're still not going to use it unless it's an event. But it also had a cute little pickaxe and some cute little dynamite, which is it's probably one of my favorite Chow. Just about when things were looking bright, a little rain started to come over us. And by a little rain, I mean a tornado struck. Creep's laptop ran out of storage, which caused the audio and the gameplay to stop recording. So we had to delete some old video files and then booted the recording back up. But that seems to be just fine, since with OBS, the video automatically saves but not the audio. So we had this almost two hour long video with no audio to go with it. Because with the audio software we use to record, we actually have to export the audio once we're done. We can't just hit stop and it will automatically save. And since I closed the audio file, since I needed to start up a new one, I accidentally forgot to export it. So that grinding for two hours was all for nothing. So not only was this event crazy long to complete, but I would have to do it all over again. If we had to recreate the audio from the video, this is probably how it would sound like. This event is taking so long. <laughs> we just couldn't do it again, so we cracked. Game fam won. But you think we're gonna spend another two hours to complete this event? No, we ain't that stupid. We've got other things to do. We're on holidays after all, so we cocked up 50. Wait, they still, they still won. So we coughed up our hard-earned $15 and just bought the Rouge skin. Which brings us back here. Huh, this video really has gone full circle. New character unlocked, Prime Rouge. Oh, can I see? Can I see what it looks like? Where are you? There you are. Prime Rouge Legendary. Let, let's equip the skin. And there we go. We've got Prime Rouge the back. She looks quite nice. Definitely looks like a lot like Sonic Prime Rouge, which um, makes Ooh. sense. Or that idle animation. A new animation to go with the new skin, which is pretty cool. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys like and subscribe.